Alright guys, I am back with my review of this week's episode of Redneck Island, Season 2, Episode 6, Missing the Mark. And this was a really good episode, had a lot of suspense to it, you didn't know which way things were going to go as far as elimination with Joe and Kelly, and I thought it was a really good episode. And it starts off with Eliza coming back to camp, but Blue Team is now suspicious of Joe and his relationship with Kelly. They don't know if he's going to stick with the four, which is Wade, Justin, Darren, and himself or if he's going to try and go with Kelly and vote off one of them. They're not really sure what's going on with Joe, and he's kind of screwed himself here. He's ruined his own alliance. And he actually says in one of the interviews that he's in a really dangerous spot. He doesn't know if what's going to happen if he votes off Kelly or if he votes off one of the guys. Well, nothing's going to happen if you vote off Kelly because she'll be gone, and you've earned the trust of the other guys. However, if you try to vote one of them off, you've got three people coming after you. So I think it's an easy decision here. So the Steve Says Challenge is a shooting range. They have this giant food pyramid and they have to shoot these arrows and hit an item and they can take it back to camp. They all aim for the beer but they hit other things. They get lobster, lettuce, and eggs. But it comes down to Wade and he's got one shot and he hits just a little above the beer and you have to hit these things dead on for them to give them to you. And Steve says, nope, that's considered a miss. And I was really surprised by this. I thought Steve would actually end up giving it to him and say, hey, you guys really tried hard today. I'll give you the beer because he was seriously like a centimeter above this thing. Uh, but yeah, Steve was kind of an ass here and says no beer. So Darren tells Wade and Justin his concerns about Joe and why do Eliza and Donna keep telling Kelly that we need to vote off stronger players? Like she has any power in this situation? She's on a team where there's four guys and one girl and they've already said they're sending her home. So why do they keep telling her this like she can do something about it? But the challenge is the swing shot into beer cans or something like that. They have to swing on these ropes and land on these foam beer lids and take the tabs back and the first team to get six well both teams have to get six and it's based on time and it's a really close game. Justin keeps falling in the water. They made Kelly sit out and she probably could have done a better job than Justin did in this challenge but they made her sit out so she was pissed about that and she says she didn't say anything because she didn't want to cause problems but why not say something? If you know you're going home if you lose, why not just speak your mind? Um, you really have nothing to lose at this point. But the Southern Thunder wins, even though it's a close game. So now Blue Team has to decide who they want to send home. And Joe is going around trying to get Wade and Darren to vote Justin in. And Kelly's just running around screaming, freaking out because she thinks she's going home. So at elimination, it comes down to one can for Justin by Joe, Kelly votes for Darren, and the other three guys vote for Joe. And they actually send him home. And I was really glad to see this. I mean, he stands up and says he's shocked, he feels betrayed. You voted for Justin. If you had your way, you would have betrayed him. So the guys just stuck together here and they got rid of him and he was flip-flopping so might as well get rid of him. He was a weak link and he could hurt their alliance in the future. So I'm glad they just got rid of him. And judging by the previews, it's down to individuals next week and the guys have three. Kelly's probably going to stick with them. Um, well technically they have Nick too. So it's kind of guys versus girls. I'm not really sure why the guys are so hell-bent on keeping the guys around when you're having to compete against each other now. and You probably want weaker players, but I don't know. They did vote Joe off, so now they got Kelly. and uh, She's definitely a weaker player than he is, in my opinion. Um, so I guess they made the right decision there. But anyways, this was a really good episode this week. Um, had no idea which way it was going to go. I figured it would be Joe because Steve Austin did say last week that someone was getting sent home that nobody expected. Uh, so I wasn't really too surprised. And the way he was acting, trying to... Because Wade got really pissed off when he found out Joe was kind of flip-flopping on their alliance. And because of that, when he was going around and telling Wade that he wants to send in Justin, I think that was the final straw. They said, we're just getting rid of Joe. Um, so anyways, that was my review of this week's episode of Redneck Island. Hope you guys liked the video. Leave your thoughts on this week's episode in the comments, and thanks for watching.